Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and today we're back with a YouTube video. Yes. But the most exciting part about this YouTube video is that this mod has been updated to 1.12. Like, yeah, this is totally, totally not clickbait, guys. So, yeah, the HBM Nuclear Tech mod has been updated by an independent uh, mod developer to 1.12.2. Which it's what version I'm in right now, as you can see. I don't know if it has every freaking feature of the uh, HBM nuclear tech, nuclear tech mod, but it looks like it does. So, I mean, that's what matters, right? Probably not the most recent, like, updates, but still. So they got barbed wire and stuff. Hmm. I missed the original texture of the barbed wire, honestly. This is just not exciting to me, you know? It just looks weird. <laughs> this is my opinion, though. Anyway, so, first things first, we have our, uh, grenades. Oh, yes. Look at all these bad boys. We're not gonna throw all of these, obviously, because that would take way too much time, and we do not have that kind of time in our lives. We'll throw the first round. Alright, then we're just gonna throw them over here. That is the enhanced grenade. I know, that's just a regular one. That's the dumb one. That's the regular one. This is the enhanced grenade. It's not really much different. It's got a slightly bigger explosion radius. Uh, slightly, you know. Slightly. Okay, well, that was slightly... Yeah. That was slightly bigger than I was expecting. Is there a freaking ravine down here? Holy freaking crap. Next is the frag grenade, which just shoots out a bunch of metal or something. Oh, arrows. That's not what I was expecting, but okay. Flame frag grenade. It's basically flaming arrows. <laughs> it doesn't even freaking put a hole in the ground. Oh, that's intense. Oh my god, I'd hate to be near that. <laughs> hey, let's uh, let's try that out again. Oh my god, yeah, that's terrible. All right, frag grenade. Now equip the the original Half Life uh, noises for grenades. <laughs> Next is the cluster bomb. Hmm, what should we get? <laughs> Pigs. Bombs away. That was... Okay, that was interesting. <laughs> That's not what I was expecting. Signal flare, this one doesn't really do anything. It just lights up and be as annoying, you know. We have the lightning bomb. Oh, yeah, I need a pig. I'm a pig. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, friend. Oh, I might have, like, overshot that. It should electrocute it. Ah, yes, it worked. And then the poison grenade. I'm sorry, little friend. Your time here was short-lived. And it's dead. It also puts dead grass everywhere. As you can see. Which gives you a... Uh, Poison effects, like contaminated. And I have that stuck on my screen. Lovely. Alright, that's most of the grenades. Like I said, we're not doing all of them because that would take too much time. And I frankly do not have that kind of time. But here's all the grenades. The combustible lemons, which will burn your house down. The nuclear grenade, which will probably <laughs> erase your house from existence. And we have all that, so... Just download the mod yourself, and you can test out the rest of these bad boys, because boy oh boy are they interesting. Next is the nuclear... <laughs> the gadget kit, which is a nuclear bomb, which will probably wipe your house off the map. Map. We're not going to do that yet. Next is... Oh, boy oh boy, I love these kind of missiles. Probably not going to do all these either, because that will also take too much time. And we're going to throw these bad boy down right here. Oh, that would have been cool if that was a perfect fit, wouldn't it? All right, we're too lazy, so we're going to go freaking long range and aim for that tree right there. <laughs> Walking. Ugh. I don't have to grab more than one of these. We even we have a manual target designator. Designator. God, I cannot talk. Short range target designator. And we have the... This is all you get from the nuclear, uh, I mean, missile kit. It's not a nuclear kit. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, all right, we're going to change it up here. We're going to actually use uh, some of the more high-powered ones, like the 
EMP missile. Doomsday missile. It's just not really exciting as you think it would be. So yeah, we're actually using the more aggressive nuclear... Maybe not all of them, but most of them. Concrete cracker. We're gonna... Actually, we should save that one for last. But yeah, whatever. Inferno. Oh, yeah, that little one looks interesting. All right, first things first. We're going to do the mm, black hole, probably. Second thing second is the uh, EMP missile. <laughs> and I forgot a lever. What do you know? I should get a future pack for this mod pack, too, actually. And there it goes. Look at that dusty-ass motherfucker. Boom. Hey, <laughs> look, look at this. Oh, no, I should not get close to that. That's how you get spaghettified. I don't like, I don't know about you, but I don't like being spaghetti. Unlike, unlike the other one, you, you have to actually manually go over to the area you want to. Look at it go, though. It's still going. So, yeah, if you, like, shoot that at somebody's house, then freaking annihilate it. I mean, I guess that's the whole idea. Well, the EMP missile doesn't really do much, but if there's, like, electronics nearby, it will completely fry those and give you scrap electronics. I think that's what it is. Yeah. It gives you a electro electronical... <laughs> electronical... Uh, yes. Electrical scraps. Oh, no, I know. I did not mean to set it, set it there. Oh, shoot. Electronical. <laughs> oh gosh. Why do we? Re why do I record YouTube videos when I'm tired? Who knows? So yeah, this one isn't gonna do anything. Saying it's just gonna have like an EMP wave just shoot out of it. You know, we're gonna shoot it anyway though. So yeah. Well, the next one, ladies and gentlemen. They all have the same kind of animation, though. I think. Yeah, these, and then. uh Bunk. Oh no! <laughs> I was gonna say, would you get over here? I, you know, I just forgot. I don't even have electronics over here, so it doesn't even matter. Oh god. Alright, next one is. Oh no. I'm not gonna use that one. Yeah, maybe I should. Yeah. Ha, this one. This one's a real freaking treat. Shoot, now where should we get a long range? A long range. I went this far away from me as possible. Look how cool that looks, though. It's simply magnificent. Alright. Long range. Very long range. I freaking have to put it in there like that. That's a pain. Ooh. Look at this dude. Bonk. Look at that. <laughs> what? Look at this big ass fucking crater here. <laughs> Damn. Look at that. Tell me that's not fucking cool though. Like I said, if your if your uh, friend's house is that big, you'd probably wipe it off the That black hole is still fucking going. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, well Will it, like, eventually die, or will it just keep going for eternity and just suck up the whole map? Okay, well, we don't have as much time as I like to think that we have. Hmm. That is if it keeps going. If it keeps going, we're probably, probably gonna have a bad time. This is not as intense as, you th as it says it is, trust me. Like I said, okay, maybe it might be idle. <laughs> Oh, yeah, well, I mean, it's not anything nuclear, but yeah, it, it lags. Okay, well. I feel kind of stupid now, I'm not gonna lie. Hmm. Still, the only th doomsday it has, my computer had doomsday. Look at all those parts, okay, okay, well. You how? Oh my god, you know how close it was to hitting my freaking testing area? <sighs> okay, you know, maybe I was maybe I was a little judgmental in that. Yeah, it's, st it's still going. Okay, well. 
Okay, I was a little, I was a little misjudged. That muscle was a little misjudged. I, I apologize. <laughs> See, I tried it before and it was not that exciting. We're going to try the endo and the exothermic muscle and that's it. <clears throat> Basically one freezes and one doesn't. These are far enough away, trust me. This one's the freezy one. The other one's the not so freezy one. Phew. <laughs> Instant ice. That actually looks kind of cool, though. There just needs to be a biome where it's just ice. Like this. Like ice trees. Frozen stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I think this is kind of entertaining, actually. Except for the uh, slowness effect you get when you touch it. Now, the other one's, like, exactly the opposite. Obviously, it's an exothermic reaction. Therefore, it's hot. Or some science -y bullshit. Okay, I did not mean to shoot it like that, so it's... Whoa. I forgot about that. Okay, now we have a bunch of ice everywhere, and as you see... What normally is supposed to happen is it's supposed to completely like cover the area in netherrack. But I was stupid and did not freaking set it up properly, so that's that's my fault. Oh, I don't know about this one, and perhaps I don't want to find out about it. But here we go anyway. Uh maybe not this one. We'll try the ten to one. I don't know what this one actually does, so Whee, there it goes. Oh. Just gives you all these little, uh... Little, uh... Okay, it's spreading. Okay. This thing is still fucking going. Holy fuck. It's stronger. I don't know how to destroy that either, so, um... That could be a slate problem, couldn't it? Alright, well, that's it for the nuclear missiles. If you want to, I mean the missiles, if you want to find out more about these, then just uh, download the mod. I'll have a link to the uh, 1.12 version in the description below, I th if I remember. <laughs> just comment if I forget, because I probably will. Alright, next is the hazmat suits, which are actually pretty nice. So if you're handling it, anything like radioactive... Okay, I'm gonna have to do a effect clear. Uh, I do not know how to use Minecraft commands. And it just freaking cleared itself, didn't it? <sighs> Alright, so we're gonna get to a. Uh, okay, no, no, we, we got some right um, in here somewhere. Or just steal from one of these displays. Alright, first one's the regular hazmat suit. As you see, they have different radiation resistances. Like, this one's probably... This is the lowest at point two. And, uh... And, alright, so... This one has the lowest, as you can see. This one has the highest at point four, so this is point three. They're not really as resistant as you like that. You'd like to think they were, were really. Now this is how it looks, you know. You get a little. Uh, it gets kind of darker, you know, because of uh, the hazmat suit that you're wearing. And uh, yeah, this one. Oh frick! I forgot to get the Geiger counter. Oh well, that was that was actually that was actually really conclusive. I don't know if I got the radiation effect from that or if um. Alright, so you see, get one rad a second, like, less than one rads a second, even with the, uh, put him 238. It's not too bad. Well, if you had a stack of plutonium, then, okay, yeah, that's, tw that's 32 rads a second. Oh, boy. Alright, so that's that one. Next one is the advanced. They all get their own little kits too, so don't worry. I have to. Oh my god! I actually have to take this bullshit off. 
Next is the advanced, which is slightly more radioactive, resi is more re resistant. And all right, and then this is the next one, and we'll grab our lovely stack of plutonium powder, which is two point rounds a second times sixty four, which is. Uh, see, like I said, it's like half of what it was before. So yeah, like I said, it's like half. That's a whole lot better than it was before. All right, next, last but not least, is the high performance hazmat suit. And this one's the most radio radioactive resistant. Hope to do. Let's see here. That's only f six. Okay, let's see. It's still going up. It's only like seven, six or seven rads per uh, tick. Which honestly is not that bad. Though I would not recommend holding this for too long anyway. But you, you know, you have enough time to walk from one side of your base to the other. Run around a little bit before anything major starts happening. So you see that little bar on the left hand the uh, left hand side of my, the screen on the bottom part. Uh, it's probably when you get to about halfway. That's probably when the real like stuff starts happening. But yeah, that's that. Just throw these all back in here. And next we have the uh, T forty five power armor. <laughs> Next is, yeah, like I said before, next is the T-45 power armor. I keep getting uninterrupted. And basically how you charge this up is you get a free war fusion core. Look at that. Sorry you got his debuffs and, I mean, it's buffs and stuff. Not debuffs. You get haste, strength 3, speed 2, and jump boost. Boom. Look at that. I'm speed. ka -chow. Alright, so we got that. Yeah, I mean, it's not really too exciting. I mean, you can mine stuff faster and stuff. But next... Hmm. Nothing too exciting about that. It also comes in as a little kit, so... Like, every time you open up the kit, you'll get, like, two fusion cores. Not two, like... The six or seven fusion cores that you get. And the, uh... The power armor, of course. Alright, next is the, uh... This is another kit. This is the Atomic Science Starter Kit. Every time you open one of these bad boys up, you get a uh, just normal hazmat suit and all this sciencey stuff. Machine template folders, uranium ingots, yellow cake. Mmm, that sounds delicious, honestly. Rad X, Rad Away. You know, just the low tier stuff. Next, and then you jump up to the Atomic Science Advanced Kit, which will be, which will have the, like, advanced hazmat suit and all this st little stuff in it. Survey scanner, so, like, it just scans for different stuff, like structures. Or, like, uh, whatever is scanning now. <laughs> this is kind of... Ah, uh, resources. I just, okay, so it only has two, like, modes. It's resources and uh, structures. But yeah, that's that's pretty cool. You get, uh, you get three center, gas centrifuges. You got two regular centrifuges. The uh, uranium hexafluoride tanks and the plutonium hexafluoride tanks. This is a lot of sciencey stuff. <laughs> You got the RTG furnace, the breathing reactor. I got these swapped, don't mind me. Four nuclear reactors, these are a real freaking treat, let me tell you. Yeah, and the radiation powered engine. That's personally my favorite, you know. You don't have to worry about it, like, having a catastrophic failure and everything being radioactive. At least not that I'm aware of, anyway. You have the RT generator, which basically uses, like, one of these pellets here to produce power. Though it's not very much, so it's kind of, like, pointless. <laughs> Unless you have like a whole bunch of the uranium, plutonium 238. And last but not least, which, which we have all these lovely little weapons here. 
I don't know why we're still getting like oh, it's probably from like Fallout or something. Yeah, you know that taint missile that we fired earlier? Yeah, it spread a lot. And it's and this new black hole here is also spread a lot. Hey look, it's basically just taking the taint and just fucking taking it with it. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny, actually. Well, you don't want to touch this stuff because this stuff is not healthy for you. Tr uh, trust me. Though you can use this to make, I think, whatever the pink grenade thingy was. Let me see here. You draw a pink cloud. Mm. I think I think that's what you make it up. I'm not really sure. I have n I did not remember. All right. Next, we have all these revolvers here. Uh, this is regular one, ed enhanced revolver, cyanurite revolver, golden revolver, nuclear revolver. This one's radioactive, so I wouldn't recommend holding this unless you have a hazmat suit. All right. First things first. First one. Let's load this bad boy up. This one's... Oh, crap. Where did all my mobs go? Damn it. Well, this is embarrassing. I don't have any mobs. Oh, shoot. I don't know. I guess they must have despawned or something or just, like, got annihilated. That's the wrong kind of zombie. Sick, that's the wrong zombie. I have no idea what this gun does, so we don't even talk about it. We just pretend it doesn't exist because, in reality, it doesn't. Alright, let's see. First one is the regular one. It doesn't really do too much damage. It's like <laughs> three damage per shot. That does get a poison effect. That's actually kind of interesting. That's the regular one. The second one is the enhanced revolver, which does a look significantly more damage than the other one. Okay, you know that part where I said significant damage? <sighs> that was a fucking lie. Next, we have the uh, Saturnite shooter. Which is actually not a revolver. I did not even know that. Okay, you are a stupid little zombie. That one doesn't have damage. Oh my god, bro. That one sets them on fire. That's actually really cool. <laughs> so you get a little bit of fire damage with that. Next is the Golden Rover, which probably totally lasts for 32 shots. It actually does a lot of damage. Holy fuck. It's two shots and that zombie's dead. So yeah. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, and the next one is the Nuka Revolver. This one actually gives it a little treat. So, you know with the, uh, this is, but there's one thing I have to say about this. You should not use this with a nuclear, uh, a regular creeper. Because if it doesn't kill it right away, then it'll most likely turn into a zombie. I mean, not as, you know what. My frame rates are really suffering right now. If it does not die, it's going to turn into a nuclear creeper. Just give it time. It should turn into a nuclear creeper anyway. Okay, maybe not. I thought it would turn into a nuclear creeper. Okay, that's kind of disappointing. Yeah, you gonna turn into a nuclear creeper for me, buddy? All right. Well, that's that's kind of actually disappointing. I wanted a nuclear creeper, dang it. But the same thing, like, if you, uh, have a nuclear... No, no. If you have a creeper on, like, the poison grass, it'll pretty much do the same thing. I really thought that was going to change it into, uh... Hmm. Flim Flam Industries. That sounds kind of funny. <laughs> Is that a reference to something that I probably understand, but we're not going to mention that I understand that? Yeah, probably. Alright, next one is the radioactive one. Mmm. So, of course, we're going to put her back on her hazmat suit. Life. This radioactivity is not fun, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know why I have two pants in here. Two pants and no hazmat uh, helmet. <laughs> Alright, so this bad boy. And then we have the uh, cursed revolver. Base Systems, PLC, Nightmare Revolver, mm. also um, part of Flim Flam Industries. 
That's that can't be a real company. <laughs> this one obviously is radioactive, so if you're gonna use this, you probably wanna have that too. I'm so sorry, friend. This basically is one shoot any fucking thing. You see this? Anything, it will freaking die. I could probably build a wither right now. Actually, I will actually put build a wither. F there is it? Yeah, this will also kill you if you use it too long though, so I mean. <laughs> You, you win some, you lose a, two, a few thousand, right? Oh, crap. The lag is kind of immense right now. This is probably... Oh, my... Okay, maybe I should not go here. Yeah, the lag is suspenseful. We're going to run over here real quick. This is, like, the best hazmat suit, too, and it's still giving us issues. We're gonna build a wither and see. That's the strongest mob in Minecraft, and we're gonna see if it will die instantly by one shot with it. With this spooky, scary skeleton. So of course we're gonna be nice and generous and let him fill up his power. I want to see if this actually one shots him though. If it does, you know how intense that will be. Oh my freaking god! It did not stay a chance. Oh, he just freaking bonk. <laughs> like I said, this will kill literally anything. <laughs> it's like getting hit by a freaking tractor trailer. <laughs> oh, shit. That, ladies and gentlemen, is why you never would it be at the receiving end of a Scarabium revolver. Oh, my God. Do you see that? That's amazing. Alright, next one we have is the uh, Cursed Revolver, which actually has 17 shots. Maybe that's why it's cursed? I have no idea. But that's... Yeah, that's that's actually kind of weird. You hear that? That's That sounds a lot... That sounds really sinister. I don't think many of revolvers have that big of a magazine capacity. I'm not really sure. I'm not really a good expert by any means. But yeah, that's the Curse Revolver. Pretty much. I have no idea what the damage is on that. It's probably not as much as the other thing. Right, next is the Nightmare Revolver. This one actually comes with a little scope, so that's fun. I get the laser buckshot. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Look at that. <laughs> That's actually really satisfying. I like that. You know, it does destroy the environment around you, so if you get a shootout with somebody, you're probably gonna have like, a bunch of holes everywhere when you're done. Look at that freaking laser, though. <laughs> what if you could accidentally shoot yourself? Boop. <laughs> uh, basically, a regular revolver, uh, nightmare revolver is the exact same way. I think it is. No, it's actually not. Okay. This one actually just takes uh, the nightmare bullet. I have no idea how powerful this is, though. So It kills a chicken. That's fine. So, if that's what you wanted to know, there's your answer. Let me in. Let me in. Thank you. Okay, well, that's one hit anything, really. Okay, that's good to know. This is probably also one hit anything. I swear to God, if it puts a hole in my freaking thing, it's... Yeah, it did. It did. That's reinforced freaking stone for freak's sakes, and it put a hole right through it. You could just be minding your own business in your little, uh, base, you know? That only does 12. How do you think a Chris Revolver would do more than that? So disappointing, really. But this one, and the other Nightmare version, is freaking powerful as fuck. And we don't want to be anywhere near that. Okay, yeah, it's still laggy. <sighs> oh, big iron, big iron. <sighs> yeah, I don't know how I always run an overtime on here. Next is a little pip squeak. I have no idea what that's supposed to be referencing. Ah, yes. We have different, we got different kinds of, like, these 44 magnums. Yeah. I actually got that correct. That's surprising. <laughs> I'm not a good expert by any means, so, yeah. 
44 Magnum. This could probably shoot a freaking small building. No, not this one in particular. But it shoots box cars. Oh, actually, it actually has to hit something to drop a box car. And there it comes. That pig did not have a chance. <laughs> Sorry about that. Damn. So, yeah. Box cars. <laughs> it has a little train horn to it. Isn't that something? Alright, we're gonna get rid of this and we're gonna see if it drops a little NC Miata. That's that's the boat. Okay, obviously that that does not work for some reason. Maybe it try, works with the lint gun, I have no idea. I yeah, I'm pressing hitting reload, but it's not working, so. Only works for the bo box car then. This one works for buildings. I have no idea if it's actually gonna shoot a building. Oh, yes. I forgot once again. Oh! What? That's unnecessary. I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you need to drop a building on somebody? No, you fucking don't. Are we doing it anyway? Guess fucking so. Who the... <laughs> that's... That's that's actually really interesting. Holy fuck. I need more freaking mobs, damn it. Why do you need a building to drop on something, though? A whole entire building. Who needs that? I don't need that. Do you need that? Let's see if the building will uh, actually break this. I do not want to be here right now. That defies logic on so many levels. He did not survive, either. Well, the building survived, though, so I mean, that, that's a plus, right? What did these guys shoot the boat, right? And see Miata. Okay, that one doesn't shoot the boat either. That's kind of disappointing. I don't like, I don't know why people call it the NC Miata boat though. <laughs> That's so terrible. It's such a regular 44 Magnum. So we're not going to review all of these because that would take too much time. Oh, that's the one that takes the boat. Why does it need a boat, and why does it only hold five bullets? <laughs> All right, there we go. And okay, that's a bigger boat than I was anticipating, honestly. Oh, that's actually—I'm not gonna lie, that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> A boat just drops out of nowhere. I'm pretty sure there's probably loot in this somewhere. I'm just too lazy to look for it, so. It's probably near the front right here. There's gotta be a way to remove this or something. But yeah, that drops a boat. That does not look like an NC Miata, though, so I'm kind of disappointed. I demand a refund. And last but not least, the big iron on his hip. And it's a good thing this is the last thing, too, because boy, oh boy, do we have quite a lot of lag right now. I have no idea what 50 AE even is, so that's also kind of fun. Just a regular 50 AE round. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Yeah. So, if you make this, you're pretty good with literally any mob besides, uh, let's say, uh, I wonder if we can just, is there a spawn egg for the iron golem? Because I do not want to take the time to build one. And there's not. Alright, that's fine. But, still. Look at that. Ooh. You could hold it with two hands. You, you boop, boop, boop. That's pretty cool. Anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe it. <laughs> subscribe it, yes. Please like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. I'm looking at the floor, so that's fun. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. And remember, watch out for any black holes because there's not fun to be spaghettified.